Well, boy, Sam, YouTube, man. It's your boy, Dre, back with another video, man. In the last video, as you can see, I couldn't get the Corvette to crank. What I think it is, the battery is actually probably dead again. So, I'm actually probably going to try to jump it with my brother car right here. Um, yeah, I got this car right here. And I got the vet right here. So, all I got to do is just hook these wires up, um, jump the cables up, and um, cut this car on, let it sit for a little bit, hook those wires up, let it sit on the battery for a little bit. And then try to crank it then. I'm gonna um, see if I can record it while I try to crank it. See if it cranks and then see what, if I can hear any sounds or if anything I need to uh, do to the uh, engine if I need to reassemble anything and see if it cranked if I actually, if the battery is actually dead, if that's the problem. So we're gonna try to jump it right now and um, see if it cranks. So I'm gonna get that job when I hook everything up and have the car running. Alright, so now I got all the cables hooked up. I'm gonna try to crank it. And let's just see what it doing. Let's see that. What's happening, YouTube, man? As you can see, it's another day. Back with the vet, man, trying to get it to start, trying to see what's wrong with it. I kind of figured out what um, the problem is, I think. So when I was trying to crank it, um, it was actually having air coming out through this side. It sounded like air was coming out from this side, so I believe it's either this. I looked at the videos. It's probably not this either pushed in or either I didn't either screw this all the way in or something. And I do got some bolts missing, but I did actually get a magnet little thing. So I, I actually end up getting the bolts out. I got to get one more bolt out in the back back there with see if I can actually get it. But I got the one out in the front so I can actually replace um, one that's actually missing. So I'm going to actually um, take the distributor back out, take the intake back off, um, and then unloosen this arm. And then push everything back in and then tighten the arm all the way back down. And then put it back together and then. See if I can get the crank. And actually, I need another battery too, because something keep draining the battery. I think it's something with the fuse box or ground wire. So I'm gonna check the fuse box probably later on. Look up on that, because um, something actually keeps draining the battery for some reason. So I gotta get a jump for the battery again. So, but right now I'm gonna um, start disassembling and everything once again, and um, let y'all know how to do so far. All right, so I done took mostly everything apart already so far. I done got kind of used to taking it apart now, so um, I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. But yeah, I done took everything apart as you can see. So all I had to do really is just tighten this up. So I'm gonna tighten this back up, push this in all the way, um, make sure this side is actually good and tight. And I did notice as well, I'm, I believe I'm about to get at the hose. This right here, the hose is actually ripped. I did not notice that. So I believe that's another reason why it's not cranking. So I'm gonna actually go see if I can get a replacement for this hose. Cause I believe that's actually a reason why it's not cranking as well. Cause that's probably where the air exactly was coming from. So I'm gonna put this back together, tighten it, all this engine back up and um, make sure I got everything plugged back up as usual, how it's supposed to go. And um, yeah, see if I can go find this tube. And um, yeah, put everything back together, tighten it up and um, get that tube and then hook it back up and then see if I can get it to crank. Okay, so I finally got everything put back together now. What I'm gonna have to do is get my brother, or my car actually, get my jumping cables, jump it right quick, and back my car up a little bit farther, and um, actually try to jump it with my own jumping cables and then see if it works. I actually put tape around that plug that was actually ripped, so I'm gonna back this car up a little bit more and then see if I can actually get the crank with that tape around the tube because I feel like that's where the air was coming from now. So I'm gonna try it and see how it works. 
All right, so now I got my car actually hooked up to it right now. I'm just let this battery sit here and charge a little bit. Uh, make sure it's actually on there charging it. And um, I'm gonna actually try to crank it. Cause so this is what I did right here. Uh, let's make my flashlight for y'all. I put like some tape on it for right now. Just some real blue tape right there. Um, make sure it's only taped off really good. And if it actually cranks with it on, I'm gonna take that off take the whole tube off replace that tube because I think that's exactly what it was that was stopping it from cranking because they have air coming out and I check everything on there everything is that they bought it on their right so it should crank this time honestly I got everything plugged up and then I gotta also figure out what's killing the battery as well like I said with the fuse box I gotta check that out as well because it shouldn't be dying that fast I just got that battery so um yeah I'm just if it actually got some power right now Put the key in it, see if it even got power. Let's see if it's doing it. Oh, yeah, it got power right now. So I'm gonna let it sit and charge for a little bit, and then I'm gonna um, come back to y'all when I actually try to crank it. All right, so now I'm gonna try to give it a crank. I'm gonna turn the key one more time, and then let's see if it crank. Let's see if it sounds like. I need to get a different car because my battery obviously not strong enough. My car not strong enough. So I'm probably put my brother truck around right quick because my car just ain't like strong enough. I don't know what it is. So let me try my brother truck, back his truck up and I'll plug his battery up and then see how that do. All right, so now I finally got my brother truck up. That said, I moved my car. Now this should work uh, way better. This truck a little more stronger than my little car. So what I'm gonna do is now try to crank it. It should be good. That's just a crank. I just want to see what it sound like when I crank it this time. If it sound the same or if it sound different, you know, but I think it should actually crank this time. Yeah, I think it's gonna crank now. I think that's exactly what the problem was. So I'm about to try it one more time. Let's see. So I'm actually stopping it. It sounds like it want to crank, but then it sounds like the battery just starting to die again. So it sounds like it want to crank though. It probably need the more fluids because I did take it back apart, so it's probably trying to run those fluids back through it again. So I'm gonna try it one more time, and I'm gonna cut the camera back on and see if I can get it crank. If I don't, then I'm gonna update y'all and let y'all know. But I'm gonna turn the camera off right quick, and I'm gonna try to. See if it's low any fluids or anything, and I'm gonna turn back on if I can get it to crank. All right, I'm gonna try one more time and let's see what it So it still won't crank. This is how it sounds. I don't know what it is now, but I'm gonna keep looking up. But this is how it sounds when I try to crank now. All right, so unfortunately, I still can't get it to crank. Um, it sounds like it want to crank, like it's turning all the way over, it's cranking, but then it's just, it's just failing, like it's something that's stopping it from staying on, or like staying like crunk or something. So I'm going to um, do some more further research and look more into it, but uh, yeah, it sounds like something is not keeping it like on, so, because when I turn it, it actually, you can hear it, it actually wants to crank and it turns on for like a second, then it just turns right off, like. Like it cranks up and it just it just dies. So it's something that's not plugged up or something that I'm missing or something that's not getting the proper something. So I'm gonna actually go do some more research on this and um, see what I can find and see why it's not cranking so if I can get it to crank. So once I get it to crank, I can actually further move on. So the next thing I gotta do, which is the fuel pitch still, I still didn't do the fuel pitch yet because I'm still trying to figure out why it's not cranking. 
and everything else. So once I figure out how to get it to crank and why it's not cranking, um, we can move on and actually get further on with everything else in the process of working on it and building it. So until then, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, like it, um, and if somebody can just send me uh, anything, I don't matter what it is, just send me uh, what you think it is, and um, I can just probably take your opinion on it and um, go from there, and we can, um, yeah, hopefully get figure out what it is and get it started. So until then, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and until then, I'll catch y'all out.